Hi, and welcome to AE Helps IELTS Test Preparation videos. In this video, you will see a Thai candidate who would likely score 7.5 for her performance on this speaking interview. For lots more help with the academic IELTS exam, including six original practice exams, over a hundred hours of video lessons, and a fully interactive course that you can use on your phone, tablet, and computer, please visit us at www.aehelp.com and join our full course. Now you can also get our paperback exams from your Amazon bookstore. As well, you can download our app from your Google Play or iTunes. Just search for Academic IELTS Help and look for our logo. Now watch and learn. Welcome to the uh, speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. Uh, may I ask your full name, please? My full name is Pom Pom, but please call me Pim. Okay, Pim. Uh, and uh, may I see your identification, please? This one. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to uh, put this here and I will give it back to you at the end of the exam. Okay. Uh, the uh, speaking portion has three parts. I will give you instructions for each part. For part one, I'll ask you a couple of questions on a general topic and a few questions just to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. Uh, Pam, do you work or study? I'm currently a student of the university studying uh, business administration. I plan to be a business woman in the future. And of course, I study English to meet my language requirement for further higher education. What do you like to do when you're not working or studying? When I'm not studying, I like to watch some good comedy, uh, like like the other day, I was the Groundhog Day with my friends and really have a good laugh. Okay, uh, let's talk about games. What games do you like to play? Mm, there are a few different kinds of games that I like to play. Like on my phone, there are the strategy games called Tractors that I play almost every day. I also like to play board games and billiards with my friends. How often do you play a game? Um, it's quite often. Like I play games on my phone almost every day, and but games with other maybe once a week. Who do you most enjoy playing games with? Hmm, that's just an interesting question. Well, I suppose I like to play games with my friends and family the most because we know each other well and we already have a good time. Uh, for instance, last Saturday I played board games with my two of my good friends and we really had a great time. Are the games you play now different from 10 years before? Mm, some of the games are the same, but the digital games that I play on my phone are different. A decade ago, phone games were very simple, but now today I play quite complex game on my phone, like Civilization. What kind of games do you think children will play in the future? Oh. I believe that in the future, from, uh, the games will be more virtual, reality based. The kids will wear 3D headset and be completely observant. Why do you think people like to play games? I think, well, there is some obvious reason on it. Like, um, it's fun and to unwind. But some people like the competitions, like uh, billiards or chess. Okay, that is the end of part one. Now we will continue with part two. For part two, I'm going to give you a card with some questions on it. Uh, please keep it face down for now. Also, here is some note paper and a pencil. You will have one minute to look at the questions, think of your answer, you may take notes if you wish, then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Are you ready to begin? Yes. All right, then your one minute preparation time begins now. Go ahead and turn over the card.
PM, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay, uh, just the other day, I was in the City Museum of History with my family, and I basically saw a lot of unusual objects there. One of these objects, uh, most of the objects are unusual because it's no longer available and different uses before I was born. One of the objects that I look at for a while is the old butter shirt from 1800. And this is basically a wooden barrel about meter high on its stand and it has its own uh, handle on one side. Is displayed on the 19th century house and home exhibit of the museum. According to the description, this old butter shun was used by my ancestor to make a butter from milk. And in the morning, usually the mom would go and milk the cow or buy or trade with the neighbors. Then she would take a several li uh, several liter of the milk and pour it into the shun. Then she would turn she would turn the handle at the certain speed for a couple of hours until the milk thicken and become a butter. After that, uh, she would open she could open the churn and take out the butter and put into the piece of cloth for the last consumption. Although um, I think this. This butter shirt is fairly simple machine for today's standard. I have a great appreciation for it and also the effort of my ancestor to invent it for their daily life. Nowadays, you just can go to the store and buy a block of butter. And either way, I think that is the neat solution for that. Okay. And your two minutes is up, so I will stop you there. Uh, please pass back the card, uh, also the note paper and the pencil. Thank you. And now we will continue with part three. For part three, I'm going to ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Are you ready to continue? Okay. Then let's talk about buying electronics. To see part 3 of this video and an explanation for why this student gets 7.5 for her performance, including her strengths and her areas for improvement, please visit us at www.aehelp.com and join our full course. We have over 100 hours of video lessons, 6 original practice exams, and an interactive course to help you quickly and effectively improve your band scores. So join us again, www.aehelp.com. Join today.